in South America after a storm has just cleared, we've gone out in search of some supper. This is a classic example of pure fishing in a way. It's starting with absolutely nothing, just coming down with a couple of rods, no bait, and just poking around in these cracks to find crabs. And then a crab is pulled into pieces, and that's where we start from. Hopefully, we turn that. But this wasn't the lucky escape the cameraman and I initially thought. Chris, are you okay? Are you, are you responding? Our sound man has been struck on the head. How are you feeling? Good, just hit the top of my head. Right. So we're, we're, we're moving away from the storm now, so that's good. It's a very big headache. Right. And a pain. Right. Okay. But I think my boots took a lot of them. Well, you're, you're rubber soles, rubber soles, rubber soles, good. I've got a bit of a headache. James, who's behind the camera at the moment, has got a headache. I think it might have actually hit all three of us. Chris definitely got the brunt of it. I mean, very, very lucky for him. He was actually wearing thick rubber sole boots, so he's conscious, which is a huge relief. Right, we're arriving at the um, back of the camp. We consider evacuating, but fortunately, Chris's condition stabilizes. It's at these rare moments that the risks we take really hit home. The crew and I do tread a fine line between extreme fishing investigation and real life-threatening danger, and sometimes we carry the scars. But thanks to good planning, great teamwork, and our fair share of luck, these remain as positive reminders of our incredible monster adventures.